I'm I'm Matt Barber, and I'm the Tachikaze clan leader. That's right. It's a great honor. It's, uh, I uh, I fought hard. Uh, no, really, I actually just uh, played in a side event because I scrubbed out of the actual tournament. But uh, <laughs> and by scrubbed out, I mean lost a time leap. Um, so I, I, this is my Tachikaze deck that I played at uh, BWC California. Uh, I went three and two, lost to uh, the guy who got second, the uh, Blaster Engine, and then I lost to uh, Time Leap in round five after uh, two Phoenixes in the next stage. It was a pretty close game, though. Uh, I I didn't, I got one trigger on uh, five drive checks, and then, uh, you know, it's bad beats, etc. <laughs> so uh, the deck starts with, I play two of the starter, uh, this card, uh, Baby Camera. It's really good. Um, GB1, Counter Blast 1, whenever it's put to drop zone during your turn, you can Counter Blast 1, Call a grade one from your deck and give it 3k. This card just gives you field. It's very good with dogma. You, there are turns where you can end up with four units after eating five with dogma, which we'll all get to in a bit. And uh, this card just sets up, gets your unflip engine going, and make sure you have counter, make sure you have counter blast and strong grade one uh, boosters for the rest of the game. Um, for the grade threes, the most important one is four Gaia Emperor. This card is uh, pretty good. He has a GB2 skill that uh, when he's engorged, uh, when he, engorged is an ability when they attack, you can choose to retire any number of rear guards. And then you get effects based on maybe eating any at all or some X number or higher. Uh, this one just gets 5k in a crit just for being engorged. Uh, the important skill that he has is when you stride, you can counter blast one and sh call up to two units, then choose, up, then choose uh, two units and give them the ability that when they're retired this turn, you just call them back. And of course, standing, which is important. The backup grade three I run is Tyranna Brute. Uh, it's the engorge on ride guy. So on ride, you can counter blast one, soul blast one, search the top five for an engorge unit, uh, i.e. guy emperor, and then add it to hand. He also has an ability that works on rear guard that when he's engorged, he gains 5k for each unit that he ate. So he can be a pretty big attacker late in the game too. Uh, I don't run Dark Rex um, because I don't think it's worth it. Retiring three for possibly a, at best, 22k attack is for a huge amount of setup. A huge, huge amount of setup. It's just not worth it. So I don't play that at all. This also makes just better columns with baby camera. It's a 16 column, 11 plus five, etc. So I think this is just, playing four of these is just the best. Uh, for the G deck, we have some G Guardians. We have two of the Tachikaze special, uh, the only G Guardian Tachikaze has. Um, if you have less rear guards than your opponent, gets 5k. This will happen a lot. It's pretty free. Whatever. Uh, next is Screw. Uh, this should probably be in a Gleam, but a Gleam is basically an AX exclusive. Actually, it's better, worse than an Anime Expo exclusive. It's an Anime Ex Ex Expo exclusive with the knowledge that it was an exclusive at Anime Expo. So it's even worse than that. So <laughs> uh, this card should probably be in a Gleam, but Screw's fine too. Uh, next is Dismal. Uh, you can protect some important rear guards with this. So this one is uh, when you call the guard circle, you can choose one of your rear guards, give it resist, and it can't be hit. Um, it's important for protecting important grade twos and just all around good, good G guardian. It's also a little expensive. Sea breeze. Uh, so if your opponent just didn't ride uh, after grade two, then you can crown blast two, stride this, discarding any card, and start getting your GB one skills active. Uh, this deck doesn't really need to do this. I'm kind of considering cutting this for something, but we don't have enough support to actually cut it anyway, so it's not a big deal. But run it, it's there, why not? So the next one is this guy. This is our trader. So this guy doesn't have Engorge, and he's going to be the first thing that gets cut whenever new support comes out. But uh, when he attacks, you can retire one of your rear guards. He gets 5k, and on hit, you can retire one of your opponent's units. Very, very medium. Uh, don't I would not use it that often. I guess you you use it if you're not on Gaia for some reason But otherwise I just don't ever want to stride this card well, Next is Hammer Gavolt uh, This is a pretty okay stride if your opponent leaves like a front row rear guard that you really need to kill uh, Pale Moon leaves like a clown laying around or something. You just want to get rid of it <laughs> It just just get it dead. So this guy's fine. Uh, he engorges too, so it's perfect for Gaia's skill Basically, you can just call back the column that you retired. And then he gets 3k, and when he attacks, you just pop a front row. So, that's about it. This is probably the main, like, first stride. 
Um, Gradigant, if you retire, if you engorge three units, he gets 5k for each, and then you draw a card. So a lot of times against like Grand Blue or Pale Moon or something, your opponent won't have a field, or sometimes your opponent just won't have a field anyway. And then uh, you just stride this guy, get a draw, get some extra attacks, and keep going. Next one is uh, Twin Tempest. This is the GR for the clan. Uh, his ability is you can, at the end of the battle, which he attacked the Vanguard, you can Counter Blast 2, Soul Blast 2, retire three rear guards, and destroy all rear guards of all fighters. Um, you will rarely use this. Uh, it's pretty good whenever you know, your field's like all locked up, playing Link Joker or something, you want to just clear out your opponent's field, or like some irreplaceable pieces. But the cost is so astronomically high. Like, the Soul Blast 2 cost even feels high. And uh, I'll talk a little bit about that when I'm working when I get to the Great Twos. But th this card, I mean, you might as well run one. Its effect is useful enough to, have to earn one slot in the G deck. But I think uh, maybe one day we'll just have better cards. But I think this will, you'll probably keep one of this even when, when new support comes. And the most important card in the G zone is this guy. Absolute Ruler Gluttony Dogma. A full four. You cannot play less than four of this card. You are not allowed to play this deck and play less than four of this card. This is the only reason you play this deck. This card is nuts. So let, let us let's, let us read the let us read the card together. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, <laughs> All right. so it so it has this engorge ability. But when it becomes engorged, so it's GB two. When it becomes engorged, you can flip up a copy of itself. This is why you need at least an even number of them, aka four. You, if you retired three rear guards, it gets 10k, sure. But if you retire five rear guards, it gets the following skill, once per turn. At the end of the battle at which you, this unit attacked a vanguard, restand it, it loses drive check plus one. So you have three drive checks on the first attack. It restands and loses a drive check, then you have two drive checks. So five drive checks in a turn. If we've learned anything about vanguard, is that strides that give you five drive checks are fantastic. And this guy is no exception. Next stage. Yeah, that next stage guy. But this one also is going to give you extra attacks while doing so. Because of his engorge ability and guy's stride skill. Along with a certain friend who is a, who is a big help. So you need four of this. You cannot play this deck without four. Four, 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 four. So the great twos, which also I'll just get to the important one now. Because this is a guy we really care about. Tank Mammoth. I know, I know, he's an AK. But, he's an AK grade two, that when he's retired during your turn, counter blast one, soul blast one, call him back to field, and give him 3k. This is disconnected from Gaia's stride skill. So Gaia's stride skill, you don't want to use on this guy. You'll just call him back by his, own, by his own skill. The unflipping engine is really good in this deck, and the soul, the soul blasting is what ends up being a problem more often than not. But that's why we're playing uh, certain crits and draws to help us get some soul. But this guy is nuts. If your opponent's at 5 damage, you just keep calling this guy's back by retiring however way you can, and just keep poking for 11, he just gets in there. This guy is great. He is the, he's the ultimate friend or feed to Gaia. Or not to Gaia, to uh, Dogma. So the next thing I run, uh, 3 Jigsaw. Uh, so he's the uh, Amber clone of this clan. Uh, so whenever he attacks and is boosted, you can counter blast one, choose one of your rear guards and retire it. He gets 5k, and you choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire that. And then he gets, if he hits, you draw a card. It's a lot of text. Uh, he's fine. I don't really like using the pop ability before I actually can, uh, bef unless I'm like, because I usually want to engorge like three or four units a turn, or three or five units a turn. But uh, he's pretty good at killing really important rear guards because he's on attack. And then your opponent still wants to guard him because he's a free card on hit. So he does a lot of work. Um, it's possible that you might cut down on some of these if Link Joker is popular in your area for Poker, the uh, Cray Elemental that can unlock your guys. But uh, it depends how, Link, how popular Link Joker is in your area. The next one I play is Sarka Blaze. Uh, I play a full four. This, this, could be, this could be changed, but I haven't really found anything better. Uh, he is engorged, and when he's engorged, your opponent can't guard with grade zeros. So him together with Tank Mammoth create a pretty strong grade two game. Uh, since none of the, none, neither him or Tank Mammoth are GB one, you can just start um, start attacking at grade two. Just start eat, eating your own stuff, etc. And it's just 
it can be a lot of early pressure if you really want it to be. Depending, like if your opponent crits you on the on you know the grade one turn, then you ride this at grade two and just start punishing them. Uh, for grade ones, I play one Savage Heroine. It's pretty easy to play like unique grade ones in this deck because of um, Baby Camera. So Savage Heroine is a uh, one of the only non-dinosaur and gorge units. I think it might be the only one. <laughs> uh, so it's a Great Wolf and Gorge, and it gets 3k for each Engorge unit you have. It includes herself if she's for some reason engorged. But she's usually a 9k booster, and if you call her from Baby Camera skill, she would get 12k booster, which with Sarko Blaze is a 21 column. So 21 no zeros is a pretty good column. Uh, next I play one Engorge PG. Since Baby Camera can search, uh, so what this does is at the end of battle, or when it when it when it attack when when it <laughs> is the end of battle? Sure. Oh, when it becomes a gorge. So when it becomes a gorge, you counter boss one, and then at the end of battle it bounces itself. So what you can do is you can call this with baby camera and then eat something and counter blast and then bounce it to your hand. Uh it is two counter blasts, which is kind of a lot to get a PG in your hand, but it is a PG in your hand, so it depends how much that's worth to you. The other PG we have is Savage Heroine. So there's a, oh, there's a very low number of cute girls that you can somehow fit in the Tachikaze deck. So you definitely want to try to maximize that number as best as possible. And so playing the, uh, playing the uh, GPG is a good way to do that. <laughs> it also gives you a little extra counter charging when uh, you don't manage to draw the, uh, the other, the, the grade one right here. Freezer Nix. This guy, whenever he's retired during your turn, uh, if you have GB1 and a Gaia Vanguard, it's very important you have a Gaia Vanguard. Uh, you soul charge one, counter charge one, and give 2k to a unit. So this is your main uh, unflipping engine. You can give this guy the Gaia stride skill and call him back and keep retiring him. And just unflip a lot of damage, get a lot of counter blast. You, um, Gaia typically needs one counter blast to operate on stride. And then the, you'll get the rest of the counter blast just as your turn develops. But this guy is a... Uh, you could cut it to three for an extra Savage Heroine, but I would just I just like playing the full four because this guy goes to damage or something. It feels bad. Uh, it is a it is a Stride deck, so we play four Stride fodder. I don't know what else to say. It it pays for Stride, searches for Gaia. You need to be on Gaia. You play four of this. For triggers, I play four heals. I think heals are mandatory nowadays because of these G Guardian things. So we play for the cute girl heals because again, I would like to like to iterate that there's only a f some some number of cute girls we can fit in this deck. So again, I'm just trying to maximize. Uh, I play four of the um, on attack soul charge draw crit heart thump clone. Um, gets a little extra soul, fixes hands when you're low on rear guards. Just overall good crit. And I play two of the shove into soul and flip a damage crit. And I, so I play six total crits, and I play six draws. I play four of the PR draw, which you can shove into soul for 3k. Again, extra soul, 3k on a rear guard is very nice. And two of the vanilla draw, because your triggers tell you a lot about a person. If you, you, if you have good trigger selection choice, then people think better of you. If you're a Spike Brothers player playing Adelaide, people think worse of you. And you should know. <laughs> oh, Gabe's gonna download this one. Yeah. So, so that's my deck. Uh, it's really really fun if you like uh, if you like kind of a combo deck with a uh, with a kind of a hint of retire and uh, a lot of restanding van and a huge restanding vanguard. This deck is just a blast. All right, that's my that's my deck, and I hope you all enjoy it.